Hey guys, so you're probably wondering why you're looking at these three awfully painted nails right now. But believe me, there's a really good reason for it. Um, I want to talk to you guys today about Sally Hansen's Pacific Blue, which is a gorgeous blue. It's the one that I'm wearing on my index finger, and it's just such a gorgeous shade. It's opaque in just one coat. I have two coats on, but it just goes opaque in one coat. And, or it used to at least <laughs> and as I mentioned it's just a perfect shade of blue it's a mid-tone blue and uh, it was recently changed as you probably know I mean I think I'm late um, to know this because I just recently went to the store to purchase it and I ran into the surprise that it was completely changed but it's the shade that I'm wearing in my middle finger and as you can see it just doesn't look anything like the original Pacific Blue. The original Pacific Blue, it's opaque, completely opaque, and the new one, I don't know if you can tell, but it has a shimmer to it. And the formula is just completely, completely different. Let me show you these two colors in the bottle. This is the original Pacific Blue. See? Pacific Blue 420. And this is the new shade of Pacific Blue. Pacific Blue 420. So I would like to show you how differently these two shades apply. I will apply the original Pacific Blue to my pinky finger. Let's see how that goes. Look at that. Instantly opaque. Now I will do the same thing to my pinky finger, but this time I will apply the new formula of Sally Hansen Specific Blue. And let's see how that goes. We'll do one coat, just like we did the other one, and wow. I don't know if you can tell, but the difference is quite apparent. This formula is so runny and look how sheer that looks. So the other day I went to CVS and I spotted a really nice blue by Sally Hansen as well from the Insta Dry line and I thought that it could have been a really good dupe for Pacific Blue but it turns out that when I came home and I compared the two together, they're actually quite different shades of blue. Um, the blue that I bought is called Imprompt Blue number 435 from the Insta Dry line, as I mentioned. And it's a really nice blue. It's the one that I'm wearing on my ring finger. But as you can tell, it's more of a royal blue. Comparing Pacific Blue and Imprompt Blue, you can tell that there's quite a difference between the two. And Impromptu is a beautiful shade of blue, it's just that it's not a dupe for Pacific Blue. I think it actually compares better to Essie's Butler Please, which is a nice royal blue as well, but definitely not to Pacific Blue. Let me show you that color in the bottle. And this is what Impromptu Blue looks like in the bottle. number 435. So here you have the old version of Pacific Blue on my index finger. You have the new version of it in my middle finger. And you have Imprompt Blue from the Insta Dry Line on my ring finger right here. I know it's not the end of the world that this color is being discontinued. I heard that Julie G has a shade called Cabana Boy that they sell at Rite Aid. That's a dupe for Pacific Blue, for the old version of it. But if you live in South Florida, you know that there are not Rite Aids around. So we would have to go through the hassle of ordering it online and paying for shipping, and we don't have the convenience anymore of going to the drugstore and having that instant gratification right there and then and paying such a low price for such a wonderful and great quality color. 
Um, this is going to be all for today. This is my first YouTube video, so please go easy on me. I will be looking forward to putting out more videos in the near future. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye!